is the acronym for gastroesophageal reflux disease. Basically means a condition where the contents of the stomach back up the wrong way, meaning it comes up into the esophagus instead of moving down into the intestines. GERD is actually caused by a loosening of the valve which links the stomach and the esophagus here, known as the lower esophageal sphincter. When this valve becomes loose for a variety of reasons or opens up, it allows contents from within the stomach to back up. So the valve loosens because of something known as a TLESR, or Transient Lower Esophageal Sphincter Relaxation. This can be caused by a variety of factors, for example, cigarette smoke. It can also be caused by what is known as a neural network reflex. If your stomach is too full, that sets up a signal that causes the valve to open up. It can also open up as a result of medication, alcohol, and in people who have a higher body mass index and are obese, there's a much higher likelihood of getting reflux. GERD and acid reflux are often used synonymously because the content of the stomach is acidic by nature. As a result of that, naturally, what comes back up should be acidic. However, there is one big caveat to that. If a patient is already on medication to reduce the acidity of the stomach, what refluxes up may be non-acidic in nature. For example, if your GP or primary care practitioner has diagnosed you as having reflux, acid reflux, he or she may give you medications such as a proton pump inhibitor, a histamine 2 receptor antagonist to reduce the acidity. Now, that will reduce the causticity or the acidity of the refluxate. Does it, however, get rid of the reflux? It doesn't. So what they've done is converted acidic reflux to non- or weakly acidic reflux. GERD is actually prevalent all the way when we are babies. So if you remember, kids often burp up food. Uh, and what happens is that very often in early childhood, the valve isn't as tight gas builds up in this, inside the stomach and therefore after meal, we often have to burp the baby. Uh, as we get older and we mature, the lower esophageal sphincter valve also matures and becomes more tonic or tighter and it learns to only relax to allow food to go through and it shuts after that. Theoretically, anybody can get good at any stage in their life. Chest pain can be, have many, many different causes to it. As you know, anatomically, other than the stomach and the esophagus, there is the heart, importantly, there are the lungs, and there are what are known as the mediastinal organs which are within the chest. And so chest pain could be due to, for example, ischemic heart disease or angina, which is a heart condition. However, it could also be due to diseases of the esophagus, such as, and first and foremost would be GERD, there are other conditions of the esophagus, for example, esophageal spasm, esophageal strictures, or a condition known as eosinophilic esophagitis. That can also cause atypical chest pain. First of all, think about it. Ask yourself, when is the chest pain occurring? Is it related to food, as often is the case with GERD? Is it related to exercise or exertion, which is often the case with heart disease or angina? And based on that then, if the symptoms are getting more and more serious in terms of intensity, frequency, please see your primary care practitioner who then decide whether you need to be referred and try to either see a cardiologist or gastroenterologist accordingly. Good unto itself is not fatal. The symptoms are very scary. You can imagine if you have significant chest pain or discomfort, that can be terrifying for somebody. GERD unto itself causes damage to the esophagus because you can imagine acidic stuff coming back up with a pH equivalent to that of car battery acid can cause damage to the esophagus. Over a long period of time, it may result in a change in the lining known as Barrett's esophagus. Now that is potentially pre-malignant but GERD itself does not kill.
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for your regular dose of Asian health information.